We've all seen it. You're driving on I-84. You look up and you see the giant cross high above in Waterbury. But not everybody knows what else is up there right next to thousands of us commuters as we go by every day. NBC Connecticut's Dan Corcoran shows us once again what's hidden in plain sight. It can be seen from miles away in Waterbury's night sky. A glowing cross, 56 feet tall, high above the highway. To some, a symbol of faith and a sign of what's to come. High atop Pine Hill is what's left of Holy Land USA, an 18-acre religious theme park opened in 1955 by local lawyer John Greco. Inspired by selected passages from the Bible, the property consisted of a chapel, stations of the cross, and replicas of catacombs and little Middle Eastern style villages dotting the hillside. And have a place of reflection for people to at least try to understand uh, the dynamics and the gravity of, of what it was over there. In the 50s and 60s, thousands of people visited these grounds each year, including Chuck Pagano. It was a special place for me. A lot of visitors came up, and it was definitely in a different sort of build at that point. Pagano, who's now chairman of the Holy Land Board of Directors, says so many people see that large cross, but not enough know the history that's right beneath it. I think the cross um, probably lights the wick of curiosity for some people. The park closed to the public in 1984 for renovations and never fully reopened. And over the years, behind locked gates and no trespassing signs, decay and disrepair, vandalism and even violence. But since that dark time, there have been brighter days for Holy Land. A nonprofit purchased this space back in 2013. And starting just this month, the public has been welcomed back to this property during daylight hours to walk around and see what's still here. The driveways were repaved last year. A new website was launched last week. And an outdoor mountaintop mass is planned here next month. I'd like to be approaching what it was when I was younger as a reflection point. Uh, we'll see if we get there. Hidden in plain sight for years, but there are hopes and prayers this place will soon rise from ruin. In Waterbury, I'm Dan Corcoran, NBC Connecticut News.